us all about that. Yeah, look, our vision is to create a generation of ethical hackers to make the world safer. Mm -hmm. um, for all the reasons that we talked about, this generation is an ethical fork in the road. They're not naturally criminally minded. You know, um, we, we read some uh, reports we saw from our law enforcement partners that the repeat offender rate for someone who's in jail for serious crime is 70%. The repeat offender rate for someone who's in jail for cybercrime is 20%. So they're not natural criminally minded. They're just falling down the wrong path. And we think this generation are either going to be a liability or an asset. And if you can offer them the right pathway, if you can get to them and say, hey, look, this is what heroic looks like. This is what an ethical hacker hero looks like. Here are ethical hackers that you can aspire to and respect and see yourself in them. And by the way, you can make a ton of money. You can have a great career. You can get paid for doing the stuff that you love. Mm. We think that we can direct them away from the dark side into the light side. And if we do that, then we think we can uh, create a generation of ethical hackers to make the world safer. So when we spoke to uh, the industry, we said, look, guys, what, what's the problem here? Like there's 4.8 million unfilled jobs. So we spoke to 100 CISOs, CEOs, government officials. And the feedback was this. We are under attack every day from creative, unconventional, antagonistic criminals. But the talent we get in the industry, although bright, is quite conservative. They went to university. They've done uh, two years of work experience as a security analyst. They've done government compliance certificates. You know, they're bright, but they are firmly thinking inside the box. And it was described to us as an asymmetric war. They cannot compete with the, with the bad guys, which means we're, we're losing. And what they want is this unconventional talent. They want this Generation Z, age 12 to 27, growing up on the gaming platforms, refining their skills by playing games and hacking games and modding. They want this generation because they think differently. They're built differently. But they don't know how to identify them, and they don't know how to evaluate them. So we're building uh, Haptai, the hacking aptitude AI platform um, that enables us to build a picture of the aptitude of a 18 year old David, right? Not based on LinkedIn, because guess what? He's not on it. Not based on his resume, because he definitely doesn't have one. If he did have one, it's written by ChatGBT and probably read by ChatGBT. So that's two ghosts talking to each other. But oh, based on yeah. his performance in gaming, based on his performance across all the games that he plays, based on his modifications, and then based on a psychometric uh, model, evaluating his uh, character and personality and his levels of neurodivergence. 